Hello? Hi, I'm Lewis Litt, here for my 9 a.m. appointment. Hello? Ah, yeah, Mr. Litt, we've been expecting you. I'm sorry, but did you just speak in a German accent? Uh, please, take in the seat. Holy sh you're a goddamn Nazi. What did you just say to me? I said I'm not gonna sit here and talk to you about the weather, let alone my goddamn feelings. Thanks, but no thanks, Wiener Schnitzel. Please, Louis, just give me two minutes. Two minutes. First of all, I take it you're Jewish. Yeah, I'm not comfortable answering that right now. Well, it seems fairly clear, based on the fact that you just called me a Nazi. What's your point? Would it interest you to know that I'm Jewish too? Yeah, well, take out your circumcised junk and maybe I'll believe you. I'm not going to do that, Louis, but... I will tell you that my parents were both children during the war. They survived by fleeing the country and felt it their duty to eventually return and raise both my sister and myself as proud Germans and Jews. So, if you want to leave because you don't like the way I speak, I understand. But if not, why don't you tell me what brings you here? I'm here because no matter what I do, Nobody respects me. Louis, we've spent the last 40 minutes going over every person who has shown you disrespect since the day you were born. You kidding? I'm just getting started. Be that as it may. If I ask you the one person whose respect you crave the most, who would it be? Don't dwell on it. Just say the first name that pops into your head. Harvey Specter. Good. What's he like? He's like a cross between Marlon Brando and Superman. What? I'm just picturing. This Harvey, is he a friend? He's my best friend. Hmm. Would he describe you as his best friend? What the, what the f is that supposed to mean? Louis! You son of a bitch, are you implying that I'm not as good as him? That I'm worthless? Well, you know what, you Nazi supposed Jew? I don't need to take that from you. I'm goddamn out of here. Louis, this is wonderful. What the hell are you talking about? Most people take years to reveal their true selves, but you, you are like a man without skin. I can see right through you. This is fantastic. How the hell is this fantastic? Because I can help you. Your feelings of disrespect are internal, and you project them onto the people in front of you. And in your life, those people throw that disrespect back at you. Well, I'm not going to do that to you. I'm going to be here for you. That sounds like a load of crap. Listen to me. If you keep treating the people in your life like this, you're going to push them away. You know what, Doc? Jessica made me come here. And I did. And now that I have, it's crystal clear, the last thing I need in the world is therapy. So you having a good coffee? Is that what we're doing with our 11 o'clocks now? Louis? What the hell is your problem? My problem is I found out you moved my court date. So why don't you go tell your work husband if he thinks I'm gonna forget about this, he's got another thing coming. You know what, Lewis? Why don't you go tell him yourself? But you better hurry because as of Monday, Harvey doesn't work here anymore. What? You heard me, Harvey's leaving, my life is a mess, and as far as I'm concerned, that's on you. Me, what do you mean me? If you can't figure out what I mean by that, then you may be a good junior partner, but you got a long way to go as a human being. Jessica, I heard about Harvey. Louis, he made his choice. It's not the choice that I wanted, but we're just gonna have to deal with it now, if you don't mind. Actually, I do mind. Jessica, this whole thing was my fault. I put him in a position where he had to leave and you know it. Louis, that's big of you, but- But nothing. Dr. Lipschitz said, when you don't respect yourself, you go looking for signs of disrespect in others. And the way I got to junior partner I don't respect myself for that. What are you saying? I'm saying if it was my pride and refusing to admit that he was right and I was wrong that caused him to go, I won't be able to forgive myself. So please do not let him go. 
Lewis? Yeah. Did you mean what you said the other day about the associates needing guidance and discipline? To tell you the truth, I didn't at the time. But yes, they do. Then as the firm's newest partner, how would you like to officially be in charge of the associates? I'd like that very much. Treat them well. I will. Hello? Dr. Lipschitz, Lewis Litt. Listen, you were right. I do need someone who isn't gonna let me push them away. I'm very happy to hear that, Lewis. Do you think five days a week is too much? Why don't we just start with an appointment on Monday and go from there? Sounds good.